So we have some new knives to check out and we're gonna start off with some new stuff from Caviso. Now, before we get into it, Caviso has so much great stuff on their site. Definitely check out the link down in the description and they have some models that have been out for a little while that you can get you know, for a really good price, like, like say the Thresher, the Gavco Thresher. This is an amazing, amazing knife and for what you're getting you know, with the materials and just the way it's done and the work and the build quality, you know, it, it's, if it was brand new, the price would be much, much higher. Just know that. And, it, and it's like it's brand new because it's not like this feels like an old model or anything. It you know, it's just as good as any of the new stuff coming out. They have the Wii Praxises, the titanium frame lock versions for like 179 and tons of other stuff, man, from the Keens. They have Protect Malibus, they got Benchmades, tons of stuff. Check out their site down in the description. But let's start this off. We'll start this off with this little fixed blade from MKM. This is a Bob Torzola design, the godfather of tactical knives. And I'll say this. It is a bit more compact than I thought it was going to be. It's a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be, but, and I'm not saying that in a bad way, that, that might be even be a good thing. Um, it is a compact little uh, blade with a, what is this? Um, uh, a bayonet a bayonet style blade shape. I freaking dig it. I love how it sweeps down right here and then goes straight out to the tip. Nice durable tip. This will be really good for penetrating. And this is done in Magna Cut and it is full tang. You gotta love that crowned. Well, it's not on the spine of the blade, but the crowned handle. Nicely crowned, and look at that jimping man. Lots of traction there. You're not gonna get that out of anybody's hand. Um, but even though it is such a compact knife, I can get easily a full four finger grip. Gas station knife fighting grip is going to be great. Um, you know, it, it's compact enough to where it's a versatile little EDC tool, or sorry, not little, but a versatile EDC knife that can also second as a self defense knife. Now, normally I would say I wish this was Kydex uh, because, you know, for these types of knives, I usually want Kydex. But this leather is done very well. These are made in Italy. You know, even the, the, the leather and the knife, both of them are made in Italy. And this has a magnetic buckle on there to wrap around so you can easily remove it without taking off your belt. Um, you can see the made in Italy right there. Beautiful stitching, nice leather. And this thing comes nice and flat, but you get to pick what direction you want it in and then, you know, figure out which direction you want it in and then snug it down in there and just leave it there for a couple of days. It'll form really nicely. And, you know, you can just tell that this thing's going to break in beautifully. Um, it has a nice snug feeling to it. Um, yeah, I love Bob Terzola's designs. You know, I love even just the look of them. They have, you know, uh, a tactical look to them while also holding some elegance, which I, I appreciate. And, you know, he just, man, he does amazing, amazing work. Um, so I've always been fascinated with Bob Trezola's work. Now, let's get to the next one. Um, oh, the handles really quick. These ones don't glow, but they might have some versions that do glow with the flashlight if you light them up because they had some other handle materials on some other models like this, and they had two different versions, the glow one and then this version. So this one doesn't glow, but they do have those. Next is, actually, this is a build your own. So I actually already put it together. So basically it came with, just so you guys know what it came with, I got the, the, the red, uh, fat carbon fiber one and it came with green hardware on it. Okay, which looked really cool I'll be honest. It looked cool just the way it was But if you want to make it your own you can pick what scale you want, right? So like say if I wanted the green fat carbon I could do it which now I could So there's three different fat carbon fiber options and these are with titanium frame blocks then you have um, Like seven different options six or seven I think it's six or seven different color options for hardware that you can pick and you can get them individually So, you know if you want one color one, you know, like a purple pivot and a green clip You could do that you can do whatever you want um, You can buy the stuff individually But what's cool is you can basically build your own penguin the penguin comes in so 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 many different options that it's really cool now you can have your own special one you know to whatever color pattern you want now this one originally came with the green hardware and i i got the blue hardware to switch because for some reason i don't know the blue with the red just kind of or it's kind of bluish purple so i'll say the purple with the red or the blue with the red whatever you want to call it looks really good the standoffs you know just pops now the green looked cool too i'll be honest but I think the green might go better with the green, um, 
with the green fat carbon fiber. They do have a couple different like options. I think it's like they have like a blue and then a green or like a bluish green and then a green. So they have so many different color options for the hardware, you know, titanium, you can anodize it, you know, so many different colors. But these things are awesome, man. And putting it together and, you know, taking it apart and putting the stuff on there is so easy. These are very straightforward, very easy to take down, very easy to put back together. Um, this is the medium size version or the, the regular version. They do come in different sizes, which I'm sure you guys know, but you have the large one and then you can even get the mini, which they do have on their site. You can get these, these are exclusive at Caviso. You can get this in a, in a full size one or the mini with the full Timascus scale and clip. Really good Timascus too. It, it looks really, really nice. I'm freaking digging it. Um, and like I said, there is different options for these two. Tons of options, There's so many options. It's like endless how many options for the Penguin there are. And now being able to build your own, that just takes it to a whole nother level. So if you already dig the Penguins and you wanna build a new one, or if you've never gotten to try a Penguin, you know, but and you like the style of, and you've been thinking about it. It's not a bad idea to just build your own um, because then it's you know it's kind of unique to you. You know, maybe there might be someone else on the planet that buys the exact same color combination, but it's not going to be as likely. You know, um, that you're going to run into it. You know, maybe on Instagram, but. But ever since the first one they made, I think, well, my first one was the denim micarta one, but they did have other denim or other micarta options for like 33, 35 bucks, which was an amazing value, especially at the time. Then so many people loved it and was like, man, this is such good quality for the affordable price that they, they wanted premium versions. So then it was off to the races. And we've seen every kind of version since from the large ones to the minis to all different kinds. And now, you know, especially for people that like to collect the penguins because there are so many to collect, now you can just build your own, which is really, really cool. Um, so anyways, like I said, everything will be linked down in the description for you guys to check out if you guys want to uh, maybe even just dress up one you already have because that's easy enough, right? You know, you can just literally just buy some hardware and dress up one you already have or whatever, you know, you can make a whole new one from scratch. Now this one's going to be quick, but you guys might remember my titanium Cold Steel 8010 light. This thing is so badass. Putting the scales on there makes this thing like... 10 times better than it was. Uh, it's hard to explain. You know, I think a lot of people know that have switched scales on other knives before, they know how different the knife can feel. And this knife feels like a $600 knife now. Now, if you don't have the money for the titanium, right? Or maybe you just don't want the weight from the titanium, but you still want, you know, the, the milled metal, right? You can get the aluminum scales. The aluminum scales you can still get with any milling pattern, um, any finish, whatever, but, and it'll still give you that, that tough feeling without it being super heavy. So this one is a bit heavy. Now, personally, I like it. I love it. Uh, but I can understand why somebody who would have already gotten the light might've gotten it for the lightweight reason, right? So if you did get the 8010 light because it's lightweight, personally, I just got mine just because it was more affordable. But you know, if you got it because it's light, you can get the aluminum scales, which will maximize you know the feeling and everything without the weight. So these are very, very lightweight. Like I said, 100% USA made. I do have a 15% discount code and they have many other scales too. So, so if you are looking for some scales for any model or any knife, definitely check out the link down in the description to Original Goat and use my 15% discount code. Save yourself some money. Next, we are checking out a new model from Tempest Knives, the Jetstream. Now these will be available on the 28th at 2 p.m. M. So if you guys want to get one of these, they will be on the site then. And I believe, I don't think they're pre-order. I think you can just buy them. Um, they will have four different versions, uh, $140 each in, you know, different color patterns and stuff like that. But let's check out this one right here, the one we have in hand and give you the gist of what you're going to get, regardless of which version you get, you know, cause like I said, they have different, you know, color options and stuff. So 
This one has, or all of them, have 154 CM blade steel with this somewhat of an upswept spear point. I'm just gonna call it a drop point, but it is kind of upswept as you can see. Um, really good geometry. He says it's 15 thousandths behind the edge, which you know I can believe with this edge angle. This looks like somewhat of a high edge angle. So I'd say if you lower back the edge angle, it'll probably be more like 18 thousandths. Um, but good geometry, really good geometry, nice thin blade stock, extremely, extremely comfortable in the hand. Like, insanely comfortable very happy with those ergonomics um that does have micro milling across the titanium handles which is really really nice i love his pivot um, you can see it has a reversible milled titanium pocket clip that does have the cover um, nice little hidden lanyard pin back there the milling is on both sides which i do really like now the action is ridiculous this thing is so good. It feels very natural. The hole lands in just a, in such a perfect place. The detent, fantastic braking detent. Even has a nice sound. It's like a chunk, chunk. I love it. <laughs> I freaking dig it. And yeah, you can even thumb flick it very easily. Both are just as satisfying. And then the, the access to the lock bar, really good job there. Nice, comfortable disengagement. Very easy to get past the detent. And it is very drop shutty. And you can see the detent's nice and early, like super early. Look at that. Exactly the way I like it, man. So it's so easy to get past that detent. Like you don't even have to hardly attempt to get past it. That's really awesome. Um, something I always appreciate, especially as somebody who likes action. Um, now, the flipper tab. You can see how he cut out the scales right there to expose the flipper tab. So it's going to be more of a light switch because if you push button, you know, it'll just come over and hit you. So you just want to light switch it, which it feels really good too. Nice detent for that comes out with authority, like really, really good. Yeah, nice action, man, great action, phenomenal action. And then because of the ergonomics, man, you can choke up nice and tight to that blade, you can reverse it, gas station knife fighting grip's good. Yeah, this is a good one. I like this one quite a bit. And you can obviously use it left-handed because it's a liner lock, right? So it does have a steel liner lock, and I, there's only, so basically the steel liner wedges behind the scale right here. So instead of it being screwed in, it's actually screwed in from this hardware because it's pressed in. So that's cool. And it does have like a notch there. So, you know, it's securely in there. Uh, very cool. Very, um, I'm not gonna say innovative, but, but you know, it's a nice, um, nice build quality thought or a nice, Nice thought on how to put, how to assemble it together, you know, with, uh, by creating minimal hardware or more minimal hardware. Anyways, at least I don't think there's another screw down there. No, it doesn't look like it. So, so yeah, pretty cool how you put that together. Um, all in all, yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Um, little nitpicks, sharp control and plunge grind is okay. Like, you know, you're going to get uh, two good sharpenings in there. If you lower back your edge angle, you know, maybe more if you don't but I prefer a lot more. I want to be able to sharpen my knife to death. I want to be able to sharpen it at least 5, 10, 15, 20 times before I ever hit the plunge grind. And this one's going to hit it within a few sharpenings. So at least you do have a few though. So that's good. You know, you'll get some life out of it. Um, and there's nothing in the way from you cutting in your own if you wanted to in the future, which is another thing I always appreciate when the stop pin's placed up here or as an internal stop pin, or even how he has just a regular stop pin because it doesn't get in the way back here. Um, the next nitpick I would say, I kind of wish the clip was just a little bit longer. It's a good clip. It comes, it slips over the pocket just fine. Um, you know, it's just when they're short and stout like this, it's a little bit hard to not have it have a lot of tension. Now this one's fine, it's still good, but if it was me, you know, I would probably prefer just to be a little tiny, that little tiny bit of length changes everything as far as how the ramp goes in and out of the pocket. I will say the way it is though, and it's incredibly comfortable. I don't even notice it has a clip. Like I honestly, I'm not even aware of the clip for the most part. So, so you know, good job there. But you know, if it was just a little bit longer, I think it'd just be a little bit smoother in and out of the pocket. Not that it's bad. TA hardware all the way around. You know, I dig that. Gotta love that. Now, the only other nitpick I would say, which this is a preference thing, nothing else. Um, and really everything else I've mentioned has been pretty much preference as well too. Uh, but I'm not a big fan of drop points being upswept. 
that's just me, you know, it kind of snakes up because I kind of want them to angle down. And the reason why is because then it helps trap materials. Now this doesn't sweep up enough to, to hurt you in any way. You're still gonna be able to get to the tip really good. you will slice really good. You can use the belly down on top of a surface. So there's no, no issues with that. Um, but just as a personal preference thing, I prefer my edge or, you know, the blade shape to kind of just kink down just a little bit. It helps trap materials just that little bit more. Even if it's not a lot, you know, maybe you'll notice, maybe you won't. Uh, but like I said, you know, that, that's kind of a dumb nitpick, you know, because it's not going to hurt anything. Um, and, and it is so damn good in every other way. So, and it has a unique look. It does look cool. You know, I can see it has his, his inspirations, you know. Um, so you gotta love that. You gotta love when, uh, somebody has, you know, like their design esque. If that's, a, is that the word? Is that even what you would say? <laughs> I don't know, but you guys know what I'm trying to get at where you see a knife and you can tell who the designer is. Anyways, let's check out the next one. Now, the next two knives are from Olatons, and you might remember Olatons because I said that they make the best $54 knife you can buy. And I'm standing by that as far as right now goes. They did up the price for a minute, but they went back down. They said they're gonna go back up, I think in December. So if you're gonna wanna get one, get it now. I'm not sure when it'll go back down or anything like that. I'm trying to work out all those details, but this is a titanium frame lock with nine CR 18 MOV steel with extra blades. So you have three blades all together, different blade shapes, um, serrated blade, sheep's foot blade, and then the, the drop point blade. And these are resharpenable. So even though it's a replacement blade, you can resharpen these because it's nine CR 18 MOV. This isn't like a throwaway blade. This is like just a regular pocket knife you'd buy. They, you know, Knives with this blade steel go for 40, 50 bucks with G10 scales and steel liners. This is a solid titanium frame lock with amazing, amazing action. Like this is the type of thumb stud action I want on like all my knives. Very ergonomic, very easy to swap the blade. Insane geometry. Look at how thin that blade is. Very thin blade. So it's also easy to sharpen. Um, they are talking about, because they didn't have actual replacement blades like you have the blades in the box right but if you wanted to buy more blades later they didn't have them available but they are making those so those will be available soon but i would say man even if you had to buy a whole nother one to get replacement blades <laughs> it's not a bad deal even you know considering let's check out these new ones so these new knives they have they have, they have two different knives so they have a new crossbar lock knife and this is their first crossbar lock, by the way. 14C28N drop point blade with a crown spine. And pay attention because the other one is, is very similar to this, just one thing different. Um, so it has a deep carry clip that is reversible inset with flat screws and has a replacement plate. Really good action. They did a good job tuning the detent for the crossbar lock. Crossbar locks are very, very strong. They have uh, plenty of access to the, to the crossbar lock. Um, to disengage it. It's extremely, extremely smooth. Like I said, good job tuning the detent. You can see how strong it is. The lockup, I do have a little bit of up and down, um, which could go away. You know, crossbar locks are incredibly strong either way. Sometimes they do get a little hint of up and down. I prefer them to obviously not have any up and down, uh, but sometimes it just goes away. It just, you know, the, the bar just needs to work itself into a good tight spot. Um, it's not much, it's very, very small. So it'll probably go away, but you know, it might not. It might just get worse. I'm not sure. Extremely, extremely ergonomic. Very, very comfortable in the hand. Um, this feels like it'd be a fantastic user. And that's what, you know, it's for. You know, and so far, Olatons really hasn't made, I haven't seen a bad knife from them yet. You know, and they've all been pretty affordable. Now, this other one is a button lock version. Same thing though, same scales, same, same hardware, same everything, same blade, 14C28N, but this one has a button lock. Now, while the knife is really cool, and I do appreciate them, you know, uh, bleeding over into other areas, you know, using a crossbar lock for the first time, using a button lock for the first time, they did make one mistake with this button lock. So first off, it's rock solid lockup. I do want to mention that they did a good job. Um, you know, I had a hint of up and down, but it quickly went away as soon as I just opened and closed it a few times. However, it has a very, very light detent for a button lock. 
Um, it's a little too light for my liking. Um, so I would say they need to tune that stronger. Uh, if they could get that, that, and I could stretch the spring, but I'd just like to see it right from the factory be stronger than this. Um, the fact that it's this light, even if I stretch the spring, it'll probably still be light. Um, so I would say strengthen the detent. That would increase this knife a lot because it is entirely just way too light. I mean, it, it's very easy to, to whip out. Um, it makes the action kind of, you know, fun, but yeah, I just make it stronger. Uh, but other than that though, you know, uh, like I said, this it's rock solid lockup. I don't know if it'll fail at my, no, didn't fail. So that's good. Um, and you know, like I said, it's super ergonomic. It's a great size knife. You know, it's a full size, very capable drop point blade. Um, yeah, all in all, really, really cool. You know, it's just the little tiny details. This one has a tiny, tiny hint of up and down. Not that big of a deal for a crossbar lock, but it is a thing. I don't like T6s, but I can't bitch about it too much on a knife like this, you know, it could be in a budget knife. Sharp control and plunge grind is not too shabby. Um, yeah, they did a pretty decent job there. You're gonna get, you know, probably four or five sharpenings before you'll ever hit the plunge, maybe even more. So. You know, all in all, man, good job. You know, like I said, I haven't really seen a bad thing from them. I did have a couple negatives here, but but nothing like bad. Nothing that's like an absolute deal breaker, except for the button lock one. I would say the detent on the button lock is a deal breaker, but that is something they can easily fix, you know, pretty quickly. So there you guys go. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.